Hey team, here is a training video on how we will use ProPresenter 5 at Union Chapel. As you can see, here's the ProPresenter 5 icon. You just double click it, and then ProPresenter will open. It takes a little while to open sometimes, but no worries. Now, obviously, ProPresenter is very different from Easy Worship. I actually think it's a lot easier. Let me kind of give you a feel for the layout of what you're looking at. Across the top you see these are all shortcut buttons and you really won't need to use very many of these as an operator. This here is a preview of everything that's going to be sent out to the main screen. You'll get to see that there. These are a list of the different playlists that are loaded into the memory of the computer. And this is the active playlist. Active playlist is blue and these are the different items in the playlist right here. This is the place we'll be using. This I like to call our live area. Anything you click here goes right to the screens. And you'll also look down here. This is the video image bin. Most of you will not need to worry with this. But this is where you will uh, select videos, backgrounds, loops. It's where you'll insert announcements, different things like that. But all that stuff will be loaded right over here, so you don't need to worry about it. So the first thing you need to do when you come to ProPresenter is I want you to hide this video image bin. You don't want to click on something and have it come up behind the words or start playing something in the background. Trust me. Hide the video bin. I also like to simplify our layout here, over here, off to the left, and I like to close the playlist. So all you have is the single playlist that's open right now. Another thing you can do to kind of decide which is going to work best for you is you get to choose which format's going to work the best for you. This is the grid layout for ProPresenter. Most people seem to like that. Personally, I, I like the table view as well. This, the table view simply lets you get a bigger picture that has the words to the song so you can kind of see the words and I'm hitting the space bar going from one slide to the next. You can also use the uh, mouse to click on. Personally I'm going to go back to the grid view because everybody seems to like that a lot better. So we're back at the grid view. Here we are where you can see that we're on um, slide number 12 of the first song alive and so just continuing to hit the space bar you just keep advancing through things as you see we're at 16 now when I hit the space bar it goes to the next song which is the Lord our God it automatically goes there you don't have to click go live it automatically takes you there and then you hit the space bar to be go on the first slide and that takes you through and there's uh, the words to the, to the to that song that are coming up and as you keep using the right arrow key that advances from one slide to another the back arrow key goes backwards and of course you can use the mouse to click on any slide and bring that up at any time bring up those words now do not use the down arrow button watch over here when I press the down arrow button it takes me to the next song and you don't want to do that because easy worship the down arrow button advances to the next slide not the next element like this does so you want to be very aware of not using the down arrow button because we're just going to go automatically from one song to another I'm going to scroll down a little bit and kind of show you how we'll play videos we're at slide 23 right now and I'm hitting the space bar going from one thing to another and now we're on 28 and so it's just it's it's moved to the next item in the playlist and then when I want to play the video whenever they call for the video you just hit the space bar My and it automatically plays I have three wonderful children and I've never owned a home and so as soon as the video is over you hit the space bar again that loads the next song and then you hit it one more time and there are the words on the screen as you and you just keep up with the worship team this works the same way with a PowerPoint element uh, if we're using PowerPoint for the sermon notes 
you'll simply use the space bar or the mouse or the right and left arrow key to advance one slide to another. So I think you'll find this to be a really, really helpful tool for you. You'll notice that right now we have motion backgrounds that the words are centered like they would be on Saturday night. If you get in trouble and you're not sure what to do or you get lost, which isn't a problem, these buttons here will help us. On Sunday morning, you can click the logo button. The logo button will be set to UC Blue, which means that the video cameras will put on what everything that's going through. And so there won't be any words in the screen, there won't be a video or anything like that. Um, another thing that you can do is you can clear the background, which leaves words in the screen not as helpful for us. Um, if you, to give you a feel for what happens, if you click the slide button, that just simply clears the slide and gets words off of the screen. And um, I'm clicking on this motion background here and putting some words in the screen. So if you click clear all, that's a good thing to do on Saturday night if you're lost. It just gives you simply a black screen. And so those are a few things that you can do in case you get lost or get in trouble. Um, and as soon as you click on an item in ProPresenter, it puts it up on the screen. And as soon as you find where you need to be or whatever it might be, you click on that and it brings that right up as well. Hope that's helpful.